at Homewood Old Guy Hi-Fi channel. Hope everyone's doing well today. Today's going to be a fun little video. We're going to take a look at this cool little preamp DAC device from Duke Audio. It's called the P1 Plus, and it's really fascinating. So sit back, relax, and we're going to have some fun with this thing. Oh, the old guy's hi-fi whispering in the night Bridging past and pressing in the glow of autumn light he holds the future gently like he held the past so tight in the old guy's hi-fi. Everything feels right. So what is the Duke Audio P1 Plus? Well, it's a cool little kind of preamp DAC, a bunch of stuff all in one, headphone amplifier. It's really, really neat. Obviously has the view meter and you'll see it. it's in its sweeping mode. Got a really nice OLED display that's very legible. Does come with a remote control. Um, it uses two uh, GEJN 5654 tubes, and they can be rolled for a lot of different things. Has a built-in headphone amp that's based on the TI um, TPA 6120 headphone amp. So it's anything from 16 to 600 ohms, and it'll put out a max of about 750 milliwatts. On the top, and we're gonna show you real quick here, we've got obviously the meter, which spins around. There's a knob on the back to change the color modes, so you can adjust the colors any way you want to. I think I did it, yeah. The tubes and then the volume control and tone control. Now, volume control is power on and off, volume and input selector just with a touch. So, push and hold volume off, uh, excuse me, power off, touch once, change inputs, and you've got a bunch of different inputs. We'll look at the back. And tone is when you push the tone control, it brings up your tone controls. And then again, your volume control here. So, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off and we're going to spin it around and look at the back real quick. Well, looking at the back, we've got line out on RCA, line out on 3.5 millimeter. We've got line in on 3.5 millimeter. We've got line in on RCA. We've got a coaxial input. We've got optical in, optical out, which I think is very interesting. We've got USB-B, so it can be plugged into a laptop and used that way. You can stream from your uh, Spotify app or whatever, Bluetooth and power, and it comes with a really nice power supply. So the unit itself, actually has some really nice features in it. I mean, it, it they didn't just make something look kitschy. It's actually got some good stuff in it. So it's got a Qualcomm Bluetooth chip. Um, it's got a Savitech USB chip, which is a good uh, USB receiver. Um, it also, like I said, uses the ESS 9018K2M, which is my favorite ESS chip. So it's really, really nice. Um, good input connectivity, all kinds of other stuff. Nice remote control. Let's do this. Why don't we open it up, take a look inside. And then we'll talk about how it sounds. So I wanted to do a little bit more of a close-up on this thing for you. The view meter only shows something when there's signal going through it. And then there's the setting where it can sweep different colors and flash and things. And it looks really nice. But the built-in display is actually quite good. And you can see volume control. You get your input selectors there, RCA in. You've got, obviously, auxiliary in. That's 3.5 USB in, optical in, coaxial in, Bluetooth in. And of course, your bass and trouble controls. It's actually got some nice features to it. So we're going to go ahead and open it up now, and then we'll see what's inside. Well, here we are looking at the inside of the P1 Plus, and there are the swappable TI-5532 op amps. You can put in whatever you want. I haven't tried any op amp rolling in this. Um, a lot of the op amps I have are in other stuff right now, and I just didn't have a chance to, but I'm going to try the Burr Brown OPA 2134s. That has a nice warm sound to it, and this already sounds really good. Down under here is the ESS 9018K2M chip. Over here is the Savitech. Uh, SA9137L USB chip, and then of course the Qualcomm QCC5125 Bluetooth. This is your tube buffer. It's really well laid out. One of the things that I really like about this product and some of the other Duke products that I've seen is the PC boards are coated on all sides. So you don't have most of the tracings on the back side where it's, you know, out of harm's way as it were, and then they coat the entire board. I think that's really thoughtful. It's really well laid out. This is a nice piece and it sounds really good. Let's button it up and we'll talk about how it sounds. Well, you can see looking inside the P1 Plus, they did a nice job with it. Swappable op amp, some nice stuff, a good DAC chip, a 
really reasonable DAC chip. And I used it a couple of different ways. I used it obviously with the Duke Audio A100 amp and that sounded really good, but the A100, you're duplicating volume and things like that on it. I did use it with a couple of different manufacturers, little small mono block, class D mono block amps that I have in, and it worked very well with that. I also used it with a shit G horn amp and that worked extremely well. And I had that on my desktop for quite a long time. In and among testing, I was actually using that to listen for pleasure. It performs very well. It's really nice. I love the kitschy part of it. I love the, the VU meter stuff. I think that's just so cool. Um, the headphone amp works pretty well. I wouldn't plug anything super demanding on it. The um, Fio FT1s worked really nice on it. So did the Hyphen HE 400 SEs. That was okay. They're a little harder to drive, and this struggled just a smidge only at the higher levels. Um, it really actually works quite well. Um, it, oh, one other note, and I should mention this, all the analog audio outputs will work at the same time, no matter what the input is. So you've got audio out on 3.5 and on the RCA. The optical output only works when you're using the USB in. So you bring USB in, it runs through that um, Savtech SA9137L uh, nine, nine, chip, and then it goes back out optical. So it actually converts the USB, the asynchronous USB to spin it for you. That's kind of a nice feature. So I had a really good time with it. As far as listening, I listened to a lot of different stuff. It was on my desktop, so it was kind of random. One of the things I did use quite frequently was I used my title playlist, the old guy hi-fi test tracks, and there's a link in the, in the description of this. It's very good. There's a lot of different stuff on there. It'll give you a good sample of how this thing sounds. So I was really impressed. I love the styling of it. I really think it's fun. One of the things I probably will do, and this is just me, is I'm going to take these little stands off and put some rubber feet on the bottom so that it'll sit flatter on, on more stuff. But other than that, it's just a ton of fun. <laughs> I really enjoy it. I like looking at it, and it sounded pretty good. Well, anyway, hopefully you like looking at the video and you're willing to give me a like and a subscribe. And if you wish to support the channel, there's a thank you button at the bottom of the video window. And if you like to join the channel, there'll be a membership link in the pinned comment and in the video description. Also in the video description will be an Amazon affiliate link for this. And if you're going to purchase one, I would appreciate that. It helps support the channel. There are also other affiliate links there. There are my playlists. This is one of them, the Old Guy Hi-Fi Test Tracks Volume 1. Please comment. Let me know what you think. Are you in the market for something like this? Are you looking for a desktop system? Are you looking to actually, this could be a great little bedroom system with a couple of little monoblock amps and bam, remote control. You got everything you need. You can run your optical from a TV into this and use it that way as well. So good flexibility on this. Like, anyway, like, subscribe, comment, follow me on Instagram if you want to. I'm Ed Homewood. This is the Old Guy Hi-Fi channel saying now it's time for you to go sit down and listen to some, some beautiful music on a cool little steampunk preamp, maybe. Thank you so much for your time. I'm grateful for it. Have a wonderful day.